Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going over how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. Let's go. So when we are converting decimals to fractions, all we're going to do is make sure that the denominator starts with one and then however many numbers come after the decimal is how many zeros also go with that denominator. So my 0.7, I'm gonna put seven on top and there is one number after the decimal, so one zero, that's gonna be 10. This next one, I keep the top as my numerator. On the bottom, I have two numbers behind the decimal, so it's going to be two zeros, making it 100. Down here, I'm gonna add that number as my numerator without the decimal. There's one, two, three numbers, meaning I need three zeros. So we have 875 over 1,000. All right, so let's go backwards from fraction to decimal. Okay, for first problem, we have a fraction 12 over 75 and I want to convert that to a decimal. My numerator is going to be my dividend that goes in the middle. That goes in the box. And then 75 is going to be my divisor. Now, obviously this doesn't really work because it's less than one, but fractions are less than one. So our decimal is going to also be less than one. So this is how we start. I'm going to add a decimal and a zero and carry on. So now my times the 75 go into 120. Well, that's gonna go in one time. That's gonna give me 75, subtract, can't do that, that's a 10, five, 11, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, four. So I'm gonna have 45, can't do that. So 450, 75 goes into 450. Well, let's see. Exactly 450. So I take this five plus the one more I added, giving me six. And this gonna give me exactly 450 and a zero. Move that decimal up. So our answer is 0.16. Now, if you have a calculator, super easy. Just divide the numerator by the denominator. Otherwise, you will have to work this out by just adding a decimal and you're gonna keep adding zeros. So my next fraction, I have 77 over 200. I'm gonna put 77 inside. And I'm going to be dividing by my denominator 200. Extend, add my decimal on top and bottom, add my zero. How many times can 200 go into 770? So I can go two, four, six, and that's gonna be three times, giving me 600, leaving me with 170 left. I add another zero, bring it down. How many times does 200 go into 1,700? So let me try 200 times eight. That's gonna be a zero, zero, and I have 16, that's close enough. So, and that's with eight. Take away and I have 100 left. Add another zero and 200 goes into a thousand five times, which will be exact. So our answer is 0.385. When we convert this to a decimal, 0.385. When in doubt, you're just going to divide that numerator by the denominator. In some cases, you are going to have where that numerator is bigger. That's gonna make a mixed number. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's my mixed fraction. I have eight and 21 over 40. Eight means I have a whole of something. So that is going to transfer over there. Now I'm still left with this. 21 divided by 40. Now, 40 goes into 210 how many times? I'm gonna look at how many times four goes into 21. Four goes into 21 about five times. Let me see, 40 times five, 200. I'm gonna have 10 left over, add a zero, bring it down. 40 goes into 100 two times. I have 80, 20, add another zero, bring it down. And we're kind of in that same boat. So that means that these are going to repeat. It's gonna be 0 0.5252525252. But we can't forget this eight. Our decimal will be 8.52. 
Again, eight is a whole number. The 0.52 is just the part of the number that's left over. All right, so there's our quick review on how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.